Thanks to Gortash's Steel Watchers, it's becoming more and more difficult to have eyes on what's going on in the city. Hear me out, what if we make a play to reclaim the Shield of Sylvum? If it can keep a Beholder at bay, surely it can do something to get around those damn scrying eyes. Okay, so Shield of Silverum might be our, our uh, ticket to getting rid of the Steel Watchers. Oh, uh, that might be for Asterion. I can. I can. Take that. Fish oil trade with the Knights of the Shield. Don't care about that. Cost to put my hands on everything. Knights of the Shield sabotage operation in Neverwinter. Ooh. Alternate smuggling routes in response to the lockdown. Silver key. Inroads by arms dealer Gortash. Trade records or plans. Ledger of water deep debts. Wonder if Gale's on that. Let's see. What in this room is important? Knights, you suddenly buried behind courthouse, path of Baldur's Gate, near upper city. Uh, locations of reserve supplies. Hewn mausoleum key. Official order from the Knights of S.H.I.E.L.D. to undertake a critical mission in Tethyr. Rooms of the Uprising in the court of Queen Rindon of Daromar, Tethyr. Safeguarding relationships. Meet with the members of the Order of the Silver Chalice at your discretion. One thing that came up when I was inventory managing is that I think the updated chest broke the ability to drag and drop everything. Are you just throwing stuff in my inventory? <laughs> no, I'm taking the gold you took from me back. <laughs> I knew exactly how much I had, so. Just what you did to me. Yeah, I was rendering a service. I did too, I saved your life. No, you didn't save my life. You, I died, and then as I was going to revive myself with Lizelle, you stole my gold. I revived you with my scroll, and then I took uh, I did the same thing you did. You can't trick me. It's literally, you said, the, sa it's literally the same I events that you did the first time. It is. It is. Except I was doing something that you did not have the ability to do. I've always had the ability to sit to revive myself. I've always I've had resurrection scrolls this whole playthrough. Except when you were dead and your other character didn't have them. I definitely had the ability to save myself. It was very easy. This is absolute nonsense. What did I discover? Oh, I failed the perception check is why. Where'd you go? I left. We I don't never, think there's anything else down here. We never found the thing. There's a, there's a yeah, secret door I, back here. I've walked all around everything. I didn't. I failed it too. You failed that too. 
I mean, I must have because I, I walked around everywhere. Well, while no, you, you, have were... walk, you have to walk behind the statue. Yeah, I did. I didn't see anything. I don't see any mention of you failing a check. I think you just didn't come here. I, d I, okay. I mean, do you want? I mean, we we haven't done the the quest isn't over. Did, why would, I, know, why would I get we it. Leave? I get it. I'm going. I just I I did walk around, so I don't know why it wouldn't have given me the check when I literally just walked behind there. <laughs> There's like an obvious Oop. door here that must be openable somehow. <laughs> Let's move Kanth back there specifically. All right. Now it's giving me the check. Let's see if Lizelle did it. There we go. Thank God. The, the game being like, you failed the perception over and over again. I'm like, it's a giant door. You can see it. As an adventurer, no use to me anymore. It's not defeat. I shall, a keepsake from my final voyage, pinched in a moment of sentimentality, a recipe for fiddlehead soup, a favorite meal of mine, when I had need of meals like that. Fiddlehead. All right, this stuff is for you, I think, unless we can convince Carlac to take the... That's curious. Or unless we can convince Lazel to have it. Complete. Convince Lazel to what? There's armor, really nice armor. of bonuses to save throws for having a tadpole. Which I guess is everybody. Oh, it's heavy armor. I'm not proficient in heavy armor. Maybe give it to Jahira? No, she doesn't have it, though. Um, I don't know. I imagine Jahira is also not proficient in heavy armor as a druid. I gave her proficiency. Oh. Over. It makes it feel like this is all like fan service for a character we're supposed to know from the previous games or something. No. But I don't think he I is. I think this yeah. is just plot development for the Emperor. Are there more rats in the hatch? Lower, lower city sewers. Halson? No, you can't be here. It's not safe. She has my scent. Run. Do not stop until you feel sunlight and fresh air. Uh, are you Oren? Run from who? Oren. Oren the Red. She. Can you save me with? Blades and and hot irons. Oh God damn it! I resisted, but then she forced me to drink a foul brew. All right. The rabbit cursed blood of all manner I'm of beasts. I'm wondering what happens. Yeah. I'm in a scene. I lost control. I felt the bear take over. Blood crazed. Such blood hunger thickens your marrow. Find my temple. There it will be set free. Well, that's yep. skipped past that whole explanation. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's because I, it, I purposefully it was, attacked it her because I knew. It was, in fact, Orin. Yeah. Uh, 
I figured it was a doppelganger reveal, I just wasn't sure if it meant that we were talking to Orin right now, or if we're about to find out that Halson was the person that was replaced. But it had to be one of those. Because that didn't I'm make no sure. sense. Yeah, I was just lucky because Kanth was out of combat, and I didn't want her to surprise us and, like, stab you while you were talking to him. So I just tossed a poison cloud at her. Murder target Korra is nearby. The, Let's see. Oh, yeah, there's tons of stuff here. Oh, poison cloud's gone. Oh, it's very farty down here. I wonder if we can explode the sewers. <laughs> and just take out... to fire oh. an arrow into it? Because I will. Like if the clouds will just disappear. Uh, let's see. How bad could it go? Kind of. But not really. It, uh, seems to self-replicate. Ooh, there's a little side door over there, too. Yep, and then we can throw heavy objects onto the vents in order to, um, block the gas. Give me a moment. I'll toss some things down. A lot going on down in this cavern. Well, that was not helpful. Can't see anything. Let's see, where are the vents? There isn't really much around here. The alt doesn't highlight them. Yeah. No entry, no exit. Maybe you can mage hand the lever? Uh, I possibly can, but I, instead I walked into a guild hall that said no entry, no exit, and there are people here. Are you under attack? Nope. Uh, they haven't noticed me. I will walk over here real quick. Um, I'll mage hand the lever. Give me a second. I just need to get over here. Where is it? Right there? Yeah, we can mage hand that. Yeah, it's just right under the door. Yep. There it goes. So I guess this was uh, not uh, just natural sewer shit, but a deliberate move. Where is this door leading to? Ah, more fumes. Death's hand bail people are shooting at something. Maybe just for fun, though. Oh, they're shooting at refugees. So bail cultists are attacking refugees here. Wait, you're in a dialogue? You are. I'm not. I'm gonna attack these guys. Well, Lizel did. Lizel's not in a dialogue. It's not letting me do anything with her. Yeah, the dialogue is bugged. There's no nothing happening right now, but it is Lizel's perspective. Okay, well, I'm gonna just attack these dudes. Okay, that's fine. Fuck the ball, cultists. What is happening? This says you're doing a reaction. Uh, I am. It has pulled me into a dialogue. Oh. And but now I can't do anything. Oh, hold on. Attack. There we go. 
this was getting, weird. This game's getting really buggy in the last like 20 minutes. Yeah. It showed Kanth in it it like changed my camera to be in the dialogue camera, but Kanth was like crouched doing like a superhero pose to attack these guys to kill them. And it just like wouldn't let me do anything until it finally allowed me to do a thing. It's insane that Kanth isn't part of initiative right now. What the fuck? Hmm. That was super weird. Okay. Um it's like that one time that my that my druid was just out of the turn order in that really big tough fight, and I just got yep. to keep hitting people for free. Because the game just lost its entire mind. How the fuck did that miss? Are you kidding me? Well, I just wasted my action surge on that. That was worthless. I gotta heal Kanth, like, immediately. She's probably gonna... And I didn't even get both of my hits off on her because of the way that initiated. That's annoying. I forgot that Will has summons. I'll just explode everybody. No, nope. alright. Uh... Hello. He's exploded. This is my time. Time to push my luck again. Forever doorless. Cancer have like 27 actions and he was only able to take one. I'm very weirded out by that. But he had the whole thing where he was also out of combat? Yeah. But it, now it's saying that his turn has already happened and it won't give me the rest of his actions, which is like the exact thing that happened before when we were in the Underdark and I was confused at why initiating from stealth was like stealing people's turns. So I think it's a bug. Fight is so far away. Okay, so they attacked Lazel. Fucking A. Oh. Oop, that got him. 38 Hellish damage on a actually Hellish did damage for once. Didn't think it was possible. Can I reach the platform? Kind of, I might get stuck behind Lazelle. Nowhere else. Nowhere else. Good job. <laughs> Big help. Oh, this fight is like so glitched out to me. Holy crap. Multi attack available next turn? Why? The cooldown says per turn, so I should have it again. Yeah. Weird. Jesus. Well, you saved Kant, kind of. That, that did not look like it was going to hit Kant at all. I should have put Shadow Heart in the party. Ugh. So just just the two remaining enemies. I can't just go down there. Hmm. There's no way to reach down there. Okay. 
You can throw a healing potion at me if you have one. Let's see. Thirty percent chance of hitting. Maybe I should. You can just no, drop it. No, don't target me directly because it can do damage to me. If you just throw it next to me, the AOE will heal me. Hmm. Well, he's up. Good. That was my action. Uh... Finally, I get to join the fight. Hello. Stunned. Imagine prioritizing will in this situation. Oop. Well, he's alive for now. How did I lose my action? What the hell? I misty stepped and then did a bonus action. Misty step is a bonus action. My attacks are a bonus action. How the hell did I just lose my action? What the fuck just happened? Ooh. Oh, that was action surge. I was like, why do I have two, I have two attacks? I have two actions. Well, all those refugees just ran for their lives and um, I think they walked through a bunch of traps and instantly exploded and died. Oh. Yeah. We did it. We saved them. We're heroes. Here I go. God, I'm so proud of us. Look how far we've come as people. Well, time to corpse rob the refugees. The game will let me click on them. <gasps> that one had 14 gold. I think I found the murder weapon. Yeah, that refugee is extremely incinerated. Oh, yep, found the traps. With mm -hmm. my bod. Well. Oh. I thought locked. maybe we would save the refugees and they would tell us stuff, but that oh trap well. is locked. There's some kind of raft for getting around this tunnel system, but it's way over there. And my mage hand is gone, so I'll have to have Lazel do it. Oh, there's lever on the side wall right there. Yeah. Wait. My mage hand can't reach that? What the fuck? Yeah, I know. My mage hand can't reach it. It won't go over the water? No. That's fine. I'll, um... Got another one nearby? I don't see more. Alright, uh, give me a second. Slow fall should always be turned on. Get the psionics jump. <laughs> what an absurd um, character. <laughs> no, no, that's not the way I wanted to go. I wanted to go the other way. <laughs> oh no, Goodbye. there's a person here. Goodbye. We'll see how well Kanth can solo this. Is there anything actually over here for us? No, there's not. I do not know how this lever 
is really supposed to be used. So let's pull it. Did that do anything for us? Let's check out this door real quick. Yeah, I wonder what that lever's for, if it doesn't just call the boat. Although, I guess we can't tell because we're already here. Alright, unlock this door. Mm -hmm. Three of the murder targets are in that direct- well, maybe not. Uh, there are methods here. Grease and Chasm. No. I can't hover over their names. There is Grease and a Chasm and a rat that maybe you could talk to. Uh... There's a bog area back here that leads deeper into a cave. Who like um, rats? Speaking of which. I don't know what would be better for us to do. If we should go talk to the people up there first, or if we should progress this way first. Why doesn't he say the same word every time? Maybe the words don't matter. Maybe the vertebral component was always just, I don't know, make a noise. <laughs> I think everyone has long strider now. Made it there. Let's see. Where is this rat? You just, right here. Just a rat. It's a cranium rat. It's a cranium rat from, or weren't those from Planescape? I don't know. I think all the rats are cranium rats in, in, in Planescape and they find the, the the hive mind mega rat nest and talk to it at one point. Yeah, I, have, I don't remember. I'll need to replay that game. I love it very much and I remember all the big parts, uh, but the last time I played it was... 2015, I think. Yeah, I think we're gonna find a a, a, right, a rat hat hive mind around here. There is a cave back here with some stuff in it. Oh, there's the methates. Those probably attack. I would have guessed. Yes. It's just all that. grease, grease balls, grease methfeet. Ooh, a person. Light him on fire. Can't. Ooh, Arabella! Arabella! What the fuck is Arabella doing here? Is that the guy with the fire around him that I'm looking at? No, Arabella is our little druid friend from the camp. Whatever it's called. Do me a favor and save real quick. <laughs> Head back to camp real quick. Go talk to Withers and see if Arabella is with him. I don't oh. see Withers around. Where the fuck is he? Also, why is everyone highlighted on my screen all of a sudden? Is that like a option you turned on? What is going on? No, I don't think so. Arabella's the kid from like the refugees that we found in the graveyard. Yes. She, yeah, exactly. The one who stole the idol from the druids. Okay, hold on. Dost thou require a new ally? Oh, Where's Arabella gone? The girl has left to hew her own path. Okay. She left behind a letter, as thou doth know. I didn't. Hast thou other business? Yeah, why would doth know? <laughs> yeah, uh, I never got that letter, so that's a bummer. But, a letter. uh... Or maybe I picked it up and sold it and just never realized it was from her. Anyway. <laughs> Arabella. Arabella seems not to notice you as you approach. She's as intent on examining a peculiar stone as she is unbothered by the corpses littered on the ground. Arabella? Hey! I had a feeling you'd show up. It's sort of our thing. Like it's fate or something. Check mm. out the stone. It's magic. Incredible, right? Mm. Fuck.
the stone buzzes with unfamiliar magic. Hmm. What do I want to ask her? What makes the stone so interesting? Oh, you can't see it. I can. And it's wonderful. I can't describe it. You'd have to see it for yourself. Have you been on your own this whole time? Yep. And I like it that way. Bone Man told me to follow the weave, to let it guide me. I've learned a lot thanks to him, and I'm still learning. There are corpses everywhere. What happened? Bandits came at me with daggers. I told you, I've learned a lot. Did the dialogue just skip for you? Maybe. Yeah, I think it did. That was weird. Okay. Yeah. Uh, they don't know who they were messing with. Give me a good roll for once in my life. Thank God. Arabella's inner voice is quieted by thoughts from the far past. The stone holds <sighs> records of all those who have passed by it. The histories flow from Arabella into you. Creatures slain, lovers reunited, spells crackling through the air. The girl is collecting every last vision. It's as natural as breathing for her. So yeah, this is her, I guess. You're right. I think that stone is incredible. I saw past events as if I'd been there myself. And I've only scratched the surface. I want to know everything. Bone Man was right. The weave will take care of me. I just need to listen. Don't worry about me. I'll be just fine. I'll see you soon enough. Bone Man said so. Okay. Sure. Uh, we'll take it. What could go wrong? Uh, I mean, if she can take care of herself, then she can take care of herself, I guess. Who am I adventure? to judge? There is a dead end, isn't it? Yeah. There is, there are, there is a talkable NPC up the raft area. Um, ooh, parchment. What is in the parchment? Yeah, on, the, on the other side of the raft area, there is eventually, a, yeah, it's a guy that's surrounded by fire past the methods. Huh. Oh, now that I'm a little closer, I can see he's got a bunch of demons around him. Uh. Yeah, I think that's an NPC that just creates grease monsters. <laughs> Very possible. I bet they're weak to fire. No, um, possibly. My concern is that if he's surrounded by fire... Well, I mean, you could probably just walk your fire elemental onto the grease. Why am I you... knocked down right here? Oh, because there is grease right here. Both of my people just fell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to go take the boat. You can try to uh, cast fireball on all of them if you want to. You don't want to grease it up? <laughs> I'm going to pincer attack them. I'm going to go around the other side. <laughs> I love leveling up. We, got, we gained so much experience just now. That's... Oh boy, a lot of enemies. <clears throat> oh god, there's more- god, up each staircase is just more and more grease methods and grease blobs. Level <laughs> 3 and 4. But it's like the other methods we've met, they explode when you kill them. And that's frustrating. He's level 5 grease elementals, and they're all safe- they're all protecting Saren's skeleton. So there's a there's a glowing skeleton and a locked door that leads to a giant chest in, in it for us if we get past all these giant mobs of enemies and all their mess. 
there is a person here. I don't want to interrupt your combat to talk to them, but I mean, they look like they might know something. Let's have a look at uh, I wonder if it'll let me listen during combat. We'll have to see. A I'm sandwich. finding a bunch of missing posters as well. I have saved so we can try to talk. All right, uh, we can put that to where's. Lorna Estellian. They won't let me listen. Which party? She said, ah, friendly face at last. Are you going to the party as well? And I said, which party is that? I get so many invitations. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Would you like to summarize for the class? I will. I'm waiting for her to stop talking so that I have all the details. So this girl is like, oh, how fun. Are you going to the party? And then, you know, you say like a party in the sewers. What the fuck are you talking about? And she's like, oh, it's so exclusive. I can't tell you. Mm, well, maybe I will. It's an underground party being held in the palace. My date was supposed to meet me here, but he's nowhere to be seen. And then you ask uh, for for like. A description like who's your date and she's like well <sighs> I guess it's not a big deal to tell you he's really tall skinny pale and uh, well I can't really remember much else about him <laughs> it's like oh it's a vampire <laughs> a vampire lured her into the sewers to eat her <laughs> uh, <laughs> no uh, and she said uh, it's funny, he was ever so keen for me to come, he didn't seem the type to cancel. So I'm just gonna say, what type did he seem? <laughs> didn't have much of an appetite at dinner, said he was saving himself for tonight. He was so excited, I don't understand why he hasn't shown up. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a very lucky escape, your date was a vampire. No way, he wasn't. Was he? <laughs> you sure he didn't try? I'm wondering that myself. Now she she says, if you see him, tell don't tell him I was here. Just tell him I wasn't ready for a relationship. I'm sure he'll understand. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, okay, and I found another door. Okay, and the grease balls are this way. So I think I'm gonna do a little pincer maneuver. Where the hell are we? In the grease dimension, where they keep no, the grease. No, I mean, this leads me down to a place, but it seems like a dead end. But it also looks like there's a very obvious fake wall here. Yeah. The obvious fake walls usually are fake walls. You just need to, like, figure out how to get the trigger to yeah. happen. Yeah. There's just also no perception check around here that I can tell. Weird. Yeah, I wonder what's going on. Empty crates. The crates, in fact, were empty. This is true. Oh, can I jump over here? I can. Oh, no, I can't. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. No, okay, so there's can't. a vampire down here. I don't know if you were aware of that. No, I'm not aware of that. Except unless you mean the implication that she was brought on date. Uh, no, I mean, I think that that's what she's saying. And my guess is that the guy that's afraid of fire might be a vampire. Either that or we found Casador's lair and we should grab Asterion. 
Well, for now, I think we're dealing with the grease guy. Yeah. Just everything is just on fire right now. <clears throat> So many grease enemies, dear lord. About to have a very long fight. Alright, I'm in fight I'm in the battle now, I guess. Unless I'm not? Uh oh, I do not know what is happening. My screen is just flickering black and then randomly showing me a method and then cutting back to black. <laughs> well you're in the initiative order from what I can see. Okay. It might just be that the fight is so big over such a big area and you're all the way on the other side that it's like losing its mind. Oh, I, I'm back with your wood wood. My wood wood? Yeah, I'm right behind oh, the wood wood. Oh, so you didn't pincer. I, I couldn't. There was nowhere for me to go. All right, well, while it's I probably wait for, for the best because splitting up probably just leads to you just getting killed separately <laughs> with no yeah. support. We'll see. So instead of instead of ambushing the same enemies from a different direction, you just be ambushed, you just be fighting even more enemies in a different location because of how big the, the fight is. This poor guy has so much trouble reaching fights. Zero! No! You get two spells per day. Your spell did zero damage. Oh. The magma methods are... Ah, uh, it's immune to fire. Or it's, yeah. Yeah, that would do it. I thought there were Grease Mephits earlier. Maybe we killed those ones and now there's Magma Mephits or they became? I don't know. Maybe, maybe these are new enemies. Or maybe when you light a Grease Mephit on fire it becomes a Magma Mephit. <laughs> There we go. Don't explode on me, that's rude. Let's change my resistance to fire. There we go. That's just a smart thing to get on. Bonk, ow. Distance to cover. Okay, I gotta jump that far. 
Oop, he's flying. Ooh. This might be the biggest fight we've ever done. Possibly. The comical number of enemies. I wonder if we were supposed to talk. <laughs> um, possibly, but this is fun. This is exclusive content. <laughs> this has the energy of you've aggroed the entire town. Alright, finally. I don't have Misty Step, which is a real bummer. Um, so I'm going to Cunning Action Dash. That was actually kind of a waste of a dash, but that's fine. Um, and I'm going to run as far forward as I can run, which is pretty far. And um, I'm going to Cunning Action Dash again to double my movement again. And I'm going to fly down here and run down here, I mean. And then I'm gonna cast Shatter on the gre Grease Methods down here. How is this not, how do I not have range? It says this is within my range. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, um, I'll throw, I'll throw something. Oh, you know what? I won't throw something. I will instead. Can I just block this off? Probably not. Okay. Um, hold on. Sorry. I'm looking at my scrolls. Let me see what I can do. Scroll of Conjure Elemental. That could be pretty good. Okay. I can't hit that. I'm gonna see, I really wanna see what I can do. Cause I feel like I should be able to do something here. Let's see. Scrap and shrapnel grenade, sure. Yeah, that's not terrible. And then one of those. Whoop. There we go. That was an effective turn, I suppose. <laughs> More of the overall grease has been lit. Everybody wants in their... That's what everybody wants in their sewer is burning grease everywhere. Someone's got to take care of those fat bergs. <laughs> Gross. Uh-huh. It's unfortunate that all these methods can fly so they don't just burn constantly. But my fire elemental's not taking much damage. He gets to just do a big AoE every turn. I think he just killed one of his guys by attacking the fire elemental. <laughs> That's how well things are going for them. Regeneration broken. Yeah, because he's dead. Or was it my regeneration? Oh, uh, did I lose my dryad? I think I did. I think I just have all of my displacer clones. Hey, Will, all the way out here. It's 
your elemental still here? This could be a fun murder explosion. The Dark One's blessing. Interesting. Sup? I mean, you're. I never now. watched. I never watched this show, but apparently, James Gunn announced today that Peacemaker season two is a soft reboot of the series because season one is not canon to their DCU, and season two will now be a follow-up to the Superman movie he's making. <laughs> As if they couldn't have made this more confusing. I feel like there might be jokes about that in it. And that might be a thing. Uh, Peacemaker was fun. It was very fun. Yeah, I heard it was it good. Was a, it was a very, I just didn't a very apt follow-up to the Suicide Squad reboot, soft reboot movie thing. Is that one canon? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's not. What a pointless reboot. It's it's fine. Yeah. Here, my hot take is that uh, universes don't matter that much. My hot take is universes can be cool. You just have yeah. to do them right. It just, I just, it just severely doesn't matter that things aren't canon. Sure. Yeah. Like I understand the part where people were like, "It's so cynical how Netflix is pretending uh, that these season, these shows are still going on right up until the season premieres, and then then they cancel them when they were getting rid of all the the Marvel shows because yeah. that sucked." But the idea yeah. of whether or not they were canon didn't matter. Yeah. And similarly, like I'm like. People are like, why would I even watch this new Flash movie if the DU's reboot's being re reset? Cause, and I'm like, the answer is because you want to see a Flash movie? Yeah. Like, I don't I don't watch the Batman movie thinking, this better tie into other DC movies. I just want to watch a Batman movie. Yeah. Completely. Explode. That could have gone better. Speaking of gone better. Oh my guys teleport, fuck you. There's just a glut of displacer beasts across the entire bridge. <laughs> I made two more last turn. Now it's your turn. It is my turn. Uh, I can't trip, so we're going to stagger you just to do damage. So that's dead. And then now here. During that season, the, uh, the whole thing was like, you're not watching the Flash movie because it's not canon. I'm not watching the Flash movie because it looks like garbage. We are not the same. Two? Wait. An arrow is too heavy to throw? What? Oh, tiny, tiny can't, can't. His, his <laughs> muscles fuck? are all gone. Really what is he going to do? He's so weak. Uh, that's really bizarre. Uh, that's actually genuinely very bizarre. Uh, all right. Uh, throw a butter knife. <laughs> eh. Well, he did it. I wish I thought I had more um, flame vials, but I guess not. Oh, you're going for the displace trick. I'm not trying to really displace. I'm just trying to do just do raw damage. And I still have a bonus action. Uh, fly oh, away! Oh, displace increases fall damage. Oh, it I thought can, it yeah. I thought you were doing the thing where you swap places with people, so I was confused. Uh, I am not wearing those gloves currently. I wonder what that ladder next to you goes to. That's interesting. It goes to your mom. Get owned, oh. nerd. Oh. Get wrecked. Oh. Oh. I was at her birthday yesterday. She's 61. Golly. Old.
I had chider. <laughs> Which is chai chai tea flavored hard cider. Interesting. Which inherently does make sense. That is just like spiced cider flavor. Like that's, that all that all that scans. Very confusing thing though, because it was it was some hard it was some cider bar in Sacramento, but it was like a very inopportune like location. We have to park in like somebody else's parking lot, then go through a back alley to an open to an open garage door, <laughs> like a shop door that's rolled up. And once you're there, it's like this little gated area full of like a bunch of succulents and garden and and benches, and this one rolled up shop door with a bar behind it. <laughs> but it was just like a, a comically like just the extent to which this place is not designed to be used for this purpose. <laughs> That goblin exploded. Alright, you get to not stand on the fire for a minute. Survival is all that matters. Is there really no limit to the skill? Yeah, I just have five displacer bees right now. So if I teleport and the, if I teleport with my bonus action and then cast Displacer Beast with my main action, I create two beasts per turn. And if I do that for three, if I do that every turn, then I hit my cap at six beasts because I can only because they last three turns. That's mm -hmm. this is a comical character, <laughs> just a goofy, bizarre nightmare. I've covered the level. I've covered the level in AI driven Displacer Beasts. Ow. But they don't just kill me, though. This would be where a smart player just goes, let's kill the protagonist. They probably all disappear when that happens. Perfectly center this. Hmm. Oh wow! Chain reaction, nice. Didn't think that pay I off that slow well. fall turned on. Why am I taking falling damage from jumping off the stairs? The fuck. <laughs> It's basically meant to disable all of it, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna run over here. And now I'm gonna open my inventory. Well, and the, now I'm gonna... the initiative order has officially become manageable. It's mostly me. It's mostly just my Shadow Clone Jutsus. I don't have resources. Oh, I guess. Huh. I have Tavern Brawler, so... I'll just keep kiting this thing, I guess, because I don't feel like putting Kanth into harms. God damn it, why did he walk into the fire? I didn't click the fire. Uh, I don't really want to put Kanth in harm's way if I don't have to, so... Recast Hunter's Mark on the Grease Elemental. And now, ranged attack. Precision strike, and then uh, menacing attack. There we go. Um, I could probably kill this. No, we'll just leave it like this. You can take him out. Working on it. No.
What? Wait, are they just not taking turns? Wait, I They're think somebody's scared just, of the fire. I think they just sit still. That's frustrating. What do you even do? Oh, it didn't fall off the cliff like the thing said it would. That's annoying. I thought I was going to delete them. I wonder if this is worth the cost. All right, well, that's frustrating. I need you to actually get attacked, please. Oh, I lost my form. Uh oh. I'd rather not. Uh, topple? Nope. Uh, I don't want to be a regular or orc right now. Does he have... Retaliate? What, what made me lose my form? I think this guy might be friendly, because he, uh, he hates the Absolute. <laughs> nice. Well, we're killing him, so it's not working out. He'll be fine. I'll just use her Revive Dead, I'll speak with a Dead Scroll on him. <laughs> Saren Skeleton. Where is he? Over here? Um, I wonder if I stayed before this fight. It might not be mm. the worst to be like, looky, look, everybody, we did it. Wow, cool fight. Anyway, uh, talking to him now. Hmm. <laughs> What are you going for with how throw heavy you got? Uh, I just don't have the ability to run up to him without crossing through the fire, and I don't want to take damage, so I'm just throwing stuff in my inventory at him. I just have Tavern Brawler, so I do more damage when I throw anyway. Like, there's no, there's no, like, specific purpose behind it. I just, I don't feel like taking damage for no reason. Mm. Please displace their beasts. God, they don't do turns. There's an enemy right next to you. What are you doing? This whole thing doesn't work if the summons don't actually attack. That sucks so much. At least they'll attack of opportunity. Do Displacer Beasts not take turns? Do they only attack th things like a sentry? Maybe that's- maybe I'm misinterpreting this. Maybe all of the copies only act like that one summon you have that stands still. Um... I don't know. I don't have an answer for that. Well, at least they get- at least they soak damage. We'll attack them. Step. 
I have to insert an item into Saren's skeleton. Hmm. Well, it's probably on the bu the bus or dude. Whatever he beat. Probably just some guy we're torturing. He's dead. There's just two little wads of garbage to kill. Cinder Moth Cloak. Reach the... Oh, da oh da person da that damages you takes fire... Uh, five... Uh, takes, takes burning damage. A red pepper, that's funny. Yep, there's that absolute cult is dead on the floor. Does that mean there's a um, thingy? The wizard is a lunatic who already murdered one of his close companions out of sheer paranoia. It is likely none would believe his tale of the tadpoles, no matter what truth he, he saw. But end them all the same. Orin will brook no failure when we are so <clears throat> when we are so close. And even so, lost a soul will make a fine offering to our lord. Oh, even so, lost a soul. There's a tiefling down here. I'm gonna make a save that's just called Dead Wizard. Cool. And then maybe save, uh, maybe load a second ago to see if we can talk to the wizard. Sure. Because he might, he might be a neat interaction and might give us context of what the fuck we're actually looking at here. Whoops. But we did it, we beat the giant horrible grease fight. It was a horrible nightmare. Please Before we initiate this conflict, maybe we can ride the thing back and talk to the girl so you can actually see that conversation. Yeah. Let's so Dead Wizard is from yeah, it's it's four twelve. Let's save is from three forty, so it's probably before oh. That was when you were looking at mirrors. So that's when you were that's when you were at the mirrors, I was in the fight. Okay, back here. Mir okay. Because when you were standing on a pile of mirrors, that's when you went over there adventuring yep. while I was in the fight. So I need to go further back than that. Yep. I figure I'll try to chat with him if it lets me, and if if he then goes crazy and attacks me, I'll just load the save where he's dead already. <laughs> Kill him with time travel. Greetings, monsters. Are we best friends? First cousin! Another absolutist! Come to see what we did to poor old Sarin! Your god took her mind, cultist, so Bereki took her head, and I burned the flesh from her bones. And now you come to interrupt the funeral rites. I... Yes, cousin. An excellent idea. Cousin says we will take you in return. He says you look just like kindling for Sarin's funeral pyre. I don't think that that Earth Elemental said shit to you. <laughs> that cousin looks like it fell out of an Abeleth's arse. Are you sure you're related? You have it wrong. I'm not with the Absolute. Ha! I believe you may believe that. The Absolute takes people, twists them. Sarin Bereki and I, we were the three finest thieves in Baldur's Gate. We broke into the offices of Gortash, discovered he was with the Absolute too. Your fellow cultists hunted us, so we hid down here. We were safe, and so was our loot, until the darkness soured Sarin's mind. She kept our treasure from us, said Bereki and I had gone strange. Hush, 
cousin. Sarin turned into a cultist herself, so we did what we had to. Bereki wept until his voice was gone, and then he was gone too, leaving only me to conduct Sarin's rites. And my cousins here. You cannot conduct the rites without a clan to bear witness, or some fuel for the fire. <laughs> I'm not a cultist. I don't think your friend was either. Your paranoia turned you against one another. Plus 14. I have to roll so bad. I rolled a 14. She swore she was no cultist, but you all lie. The absolute turns you. I don't know. I don't know. Pass then, and do not come back. This is Sarin's final resting place, and a killing ground for all who come to disturb her. Okay, so it's probably not really a problem that we killed him. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't think so. No, he's, he's, he's a paranoid person that's going around killing people, so I'm just gonna stick with the original timeline. But hey, context. Now we know that his face is covered in weird little scales. How did he do that? How did he become a lizard face? That's not one of the the races that I got to pick when I ma when I made my ga game. The dragon doesn't count, so that still doesn't tell us what to put in Saren's skeleton. Maybe it, just her head is missing. I don't know. Let's lock pick this. Yeah, I guess you'll just open it anyway. <laughs> yep. All right, what did they all die for? Okay, I got a scorched book. Latest. Barely legible journal, the pages marred by scorch marks and blood. Latest score belonged to Enver Gortash, tried to lay low with Squirvel's crew, but he lost it, lumped in with the cult, says Gortash will find us wherever we go. Saren knows a place in the sewers. Saren's not acting right, she's hidden the score, says we've been acting crazy. She's not wrong about Bereki, hunched in the corner, muttering prayers if the old gods can ward off this absolute. Shook some sense into Bereki and he agrees. Saren, trust her, she's the only one who knows the way in and out of here. If she's with the cult, betray no choice, we'll make it clean. Oh yeah, so a bunch of people betrayed. Bereki, it wasn't just, or betrayed Saren, it wasn't just the Bereki dude. I just learned an important piece of information that was skipped when you attacked Orin. That's just worth us knowing. What? Orin abducted, uh, Orin abducted Halson. She told us that she'll release him if we kill Gortash. So I guess if we go back to town, Halson's not there now because Orin has him. Uh, interesting. I'm totally fine with utterly murking Gortash if we want to, uh, just to get Halson back. But at the same time, I don't yeah. know if I buy what Warren says, so... <laughs> because it doesn't, she doesn't seem like she would actually do what she says. Honor yeah. a deal? Yeah, fuck no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, pink, I don't think that she means what she says. There's a chest here. And not in that way. Everything's a penis joke every time. It's the only joke. All right, pipes. Stained journal fragment. Cool underground industrial area? We have nowhere to go. Bereki wanted to try the guild hall, but there's too many different crews there. Too many eyes and ears that might be reporting back to Gortash and his damn cult. It's just Bereki, ALS, and I. We can't trust anyone else. Uh, the guild hall was an area that I found access to... Uh, the ball temple is here. Seems like it. No, but, I mean, I found it. Yeah. I see I see the ritual circle and stuff. Yeah. Whoa. So this is the ballist compound. The ballingest compound. It's ballin'. The zone is fucking huge. It is. It is. Um... Uh. Anything in that little circle? There's a little thing in the middle. I can tell what that is. I, I found a tiefling earlier, and I don't know where they are. Here they are. I found them. There's a tiefling that's sleeping. And they're attackable. 
They're impenetrable I mean, slumber. slumber. No, I mean like I go to interact with them and it it's an attack. A voiceless penitent Brecky. Wasn't Brecky in that note a minute ago? I think you just read the name Brecky. The Brecky was in the note, yeah. Brecky yeah. is the name of the, the guy that we just killed, wasn't it? Or was that no. Aeolus? Brecky is standing by the virtual circle. Oh, gotcha. Um I just killed this guy for no reason. What? It did say impenetrable slumber. Uh oh, and I just found a way out of the sewers into Flim Cargo's basement. Okay. Why'd you kill someone? <laughs> I didn't mean to. I just wanted it said impenetrable slumber. So I was like, okay, we can't awaken him. And then I clicked yeah. him to see if it would well, do you, anything. And it just crit him to death. It's true, you didn't awaken him. Yeah, I was just very confused what that impenetrable slumber meant. I can't believe you killed fan favorite character Snoozer's man. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, he was an enemy by default. So should we talk to Berecki or should we go somewhere else first? Um, I did find this basement, this cargo person's basement. Empty potion of sleep. Oh, this guy just committed. That's what he did. He did seppuku. He drank like 47 potions of sleep and then just was in, in a forever slumber. Oh. Took fantasy and sleeping pills. Our offer remains open. He took 47 melatonin. Don't waste yourself on grieving. You fled to Elturel. You fled Elturel to find better life for you both. It's still yours for the taking. The guild always needs knife hands, and you won't ever go hungry in my employ. I feel like we walked past the thieves' guild. Maybe there's just a bunch of there's a bunch of edges here. This is a explorative nightmare, in that there are so many different branching directions to walk in. Like we still yes. haven't finished going down where the river, the raft goes, and so on. Yeah, very much. Uh, oh, there are people here. Um, this is a big steampunk area down here that I found. Um, is this across from where Bereki was? It is not. This is the weird industrial area you mentioned as well. So it loops back on itself, and then there's a there's a. We can go up to the cargo, Flim's cargo place. A greasy, smelly climb up. Yummy. Okay, so this guy's a vendor. Bereki? Yeah. He's just nice. a voice. He's just a silent vendor. Uh, Bone spike helmet. Fury and the marrow. When you rage, hostile creatures with a ten foot radius must succeed a wisdom saving throw or take two to eight psychic damage. The targets receive half damage on a save, plus two to intimidation, menacing attack, melee ability. What's that ability do? Menacing attack. Possibly frightens your target. They'll have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls, and they cannot move. And then the armor is armor of the moon bask uh, armor of moon basking very rare light armor lunar bestial vitality you gain 22 temporary hit points when after casting wild shape hello while those temporary hit points are either while those temporary hit points are active reduce all incoming damage by one lunar bestial fortitude you have plus two bonus to armor class you also have advantage on saving throws against spells the effect persists while using your druidic wild shape ability it gives you more AC in wild shape. That's pretty good. Holy shit. Actual wild shape gear. This never happens. Um, do I even have money? I didn't take more than you took from me. But I can give you some if you ask and so flesh. nicely. I can just sell this, uh, this armor that we got from the Emperor. Uh, okay. <laughs> that, that's, it's worth like 1400. Let's see. Um, I guess, yeah, I guess you're not going to use it. So, unless we give it to give a Steri and heavy armor. <laughs> see if I, I guess can it's reach, not that I, good. I can actually, I'm about to be able to reach 2200 from just selling the random garbage that, that I've got on hand. There we go. You already hear first, folks. Keith would rather sell random garbage than just ask me nicely for 200 gold. Yeah. I just don't want to impose, Toaster. You're so, always so busy and so I'm, important. I'm an extremely, I'm extremely unimportant, but I am very busy. Here you go. Have 800 gold. That's your allowance for the week.
Lock picking impossible, so we would probably have to find a lever or something. Oh, the cranium rat followed us in here. That's fun. There's like a, a group of people back here in in the sewer e looking area. But uh, I think they're ball cult cultists. If I had That's to guess. That's what it was. Yeah. Because they're they're all over here in this little hideout. But there's also a guild hall. I can't believe there's an entire religion based around ball worship. Mm-hmm. I walked into that one. Uh-huh. Ah, that's not fair. I'm on the wood. <laughs> did you guys... Hey, chat. Hey, everybody. Do you know I'm gay? <laughs> I've never joked about it before. <laughs> Diversion. Okay, yeah. They're, okay. they're bad. They're bad guys. They're bad <laughs> guys a, who are bad. What a dialogue moment. It was like, <laughs> meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> ah, I got stunned. Not even a conversation, just attack on sight. Okay. Well, yeah. Well, I'm very far behind. Yeah. So be aware. I'm aware. So is there like a way to join this ball worship club or? We probably would have. To. Uh, never mind. I can't finish that sentence. <laughs> I can't finish that sentence because it will spoil uh, something that I put together very early, but viewers will probably be mad if I spoil. So uh, <laughs> I'm just not going to say anything. Okie dokie. I thought it. I thought you couldn't finish the sentence because it was overwhelmingly horny. <laughs> no, no, it was. It's potential game spoilers for people who are watching. So I will not. It has nothing to do with our playthrough. It's something I figured out on my, my other account. My other playthrough. I'm gonna explode all these birds. I just precision attack with Lysel. They exploded somewhat less than I hoped. But they did all explode. I remember how to play this game. Thirty six percent. Let's see. Shove? Nope. Get off my face. It's rude. is already low. This is rude. Let's see, I have wild shape. Oh, my sight doesn't work. Okay. out some of that mess. Be covered in fire, please. Still breathing, despite everything. And then where the fuck is Wild Shape? There it is. Meowdy. Can 
Can you really not? Hmm. It feels strange that you can't use a normal action to do a bonus action. It feels like it'd be a hierarchy of action types, and one of these things would be usable to be the other one. Uh, in what? the... I know a lot of DMs at the table will let you use, like, exactly what you're saying, like, as a hierarchy. It's basically yeah. in just because of this game that we can't. Um, I'm just looking at it, and I'm like, I just, I just want to jump. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I can't jump or doing a crush, crush flood or anything because I, I'm, I use my one bonus action to transform, and I have two action points, and neither of them can be used to jump around. I'm like, what? I thought this see. person's name was Kevin Feige, and I was about to laugh really hard. <laughs> but it's Kevo Foggy. Kevo Foggy. <laughs> <laughs> This is me, Kevo Foggy. The Star Wars equivalent of Kevin Feige. <laughs> is it Kevo Foggy is a cantina owner? No. A hundred blinding crows. Crows love balls. Let's see. More explosion. Does are, have still none of them died? That was two separate explodies. It's just rude. What? Oh, that's Lazo. Okay. Yes. I was like, how's Kevo Fogi taking action? It's not even his turn. How did I miss against a stunned opponent, Lizo? What is happening to you? Girl, are you okay? Like, come on. I was Yeesh. very far away, and I'm running over here now. Let's see. Let's make myself resistant to acid, given the theme here. Well, the number of participants hath shrunken considerably. Do 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 do. Do do do. Get how many actions? Oh well. This left me good enough. No, it's not. There. <laughs> Birds melted. Oh wait, I can. Oh, can I? Uh, mm, maybe not. Ah, uh, movement's too bad. No, don't go. Okay. Well, I'm in there now. Oh, you can path and hit this guy. You just weren't going to. Cool game. I see how it is. You had you had the power all along. I just had to outsmart your nonsense. How does this ball have so little movement? Wait, it moved way further than it said it could. <laughs> Everything about this game's pathing is lies. <laughs> the little icon said I could move like five feet, and then he went like three times as far as the as the thing said it would go. Oh fuck! I clicked because I was grabbing my. No. I mean, it's fine. I can still just. No. Can't can move so much that I can just attack. It's fine. Well. <laughs> Unless that happens. I'm just stuck behind this right now. Uh, <laughs> that's fine. It's, I mean... 
<laughs> Most of my it. attacks are not even using my action, so I'll just dash. And this is fine. He's almost dead. I got a crit, so they are dead. I mean you. Oh, I'm fine. You're basically down to your last hit point. Or even is the enemy. 33. Oh, they're invisible. Okay. Yep. Oh, there they go again. It's <laughs> rude. Here, should I, I can probably just explode the area and find him. He's anywhere in here. I think he's directly in front. Yep. This fire elemental is very helpful today. He's exploded as fuck. Well, that went well. This looks suspiciously like a puzzle. Temperature increase. Water level rising. I got one of the two things into its good range. Uh, we will probably need to long rest soon. Oh, now the other one's going up. Okay, can I do that again? I don't think I understand this puzzle yet. <laughs> One of them was in the green range for a bit, but not anymore. All right, let's read. Let's read the note. You probably want to open the sluice gate so you can get into the cistern and muck it out. To do that, you need to manipulate the valves to get the water and heat levels to their optimum levels at the same time. Don't get scalded. Okay, so not that didn't help at all. <laughs> you should probably have Will do it because he has fire resistance. Well, no, it's just I have to kind of turn these two valves sure, until the two of them are in the green zone. But if you fuck something up. And you get scalded, that's gonna be fire damage. Yeah, if it does do that. Uh, well, the Will's currently got acid resistance. I thought he has fiendish resistance. That he could just. Yeah, it's, uh, it's got a cooldown. Uh, gotcha. Once per short rest. Oh, Wolfen walked over into the acid. <laughs> He's still uh, just standing in it. <laughs> I know. I'm trying to I'm trying to select him correctly to get him out. Okay, uh... What are these two things? I guess one of them's water level and one of them is heat level or something? Did it scald you? Uh, I don't know if it hit me or not. It explode a bit. I just don't really get it, because like the right wheel makes the red one go up, but the left one doesn't seem to consistently make the blue one go up. Maybe it does sometimes. Mm -hmm. It's also just really hard to tell if it's currently on or off. Let's see. I think temperature the, valve. I think the left one simultaneously valve, increases valve. the water and decreases the heat, which makes sense. It's just yep. it's so hacked together in a weird CRPG world that it's like hard to tell what you're looking at. There's no like interface or visuals. Is 
Is this on or off? It won't budge. Oh, maybe I broke it already. Maybe that's it. You can do the emergency release valve to reset it, I think, uh, right? Oh, I didn't see that. So theoretically, there we go. Water is where it needs to be. <coughs> nope. Oh, don't, now it reset. Yep. What? That went up so fast. I think maybe raising the raising the water now will cool it down to where it needs to be because it's what? one level above the green, right? It just shot up so fast. Yay! The door's open. This is this game sucks. The door's open. We can go. Let's see. That that was that puzzle was trash. <laughs> it's just the feedback and interactions were just so nonsense and so frustrating. Even at the end, I never successfully did the thing I was supposed to do. It just opened suddenly without me having actually put the two things in the two greens. Uh oh, there's Yeens here. Yay! Yep, yep. We found the cultist hideout. This is the Ball cultists. Death's head of Ball. Nov Schmaz. <laughs> a yin named Snicker. Level one? Maybe he's friendly. He's not friendly, is he? Why are the level no, threes? They're in, all attacking me. Why is there a bunch of level threes and ones? Because they're fucking dingus little murder babies. Canth is probably gonna die, and I maybe, also maybe in some kind of infiltration plot line. Well, you went charging in. <laughs> Maybe in some I kind of like in. infiltration plot line, you get to like talk to these characters or something. Do you want to know? Do you want to know how it's supposed to work? I I will tell you. Was I don't know what that I, don't, I mean I don't know what, it, what I'm. It's something for. that we can't do on our playthrough. Is it dark urge? Yes. Theoretically, I mean, maybe we could try to kill someone and then masquerade as a ball worshiper, but uh, the, the 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 ball stuff is tied very directly to the dark urge. Hmm. Yeah, I just see a character named Snicker that's level 15 as a funny hyena man, and I'm like, that's probably a dialogue character in some timeline. Because otherwise, why is there a level one character ever? I mean, there is also just Night a lot of enemies in this combat, tanker. and the idea is probably to... Just let us uh, burn through them all? Yeah, I think, well, I think we're supposed to, like, kill... There's there's a mob of really low-level characters, and then one really dangerous guy that's commanding them. Because there is a level 9 here, and a level 8 here. Well, that's a normal hyena. I thought it was a uh, gnoll. But then no, the, then I but actually it, saw it in combat. If it eats stuff, it might become a null because Ball has a direct connection to the nulls, I believe. Yinogu is their god, but Ball, I believe. There's a. Did you hear about the cut ending of the game that doesn't exist? The one where you where you fuck a null. Yeah, where, yeah, where you're fucking gnolls and and birthing a bunch of hyenas. Yeah, so like Ball has a direct connection <laughs> to the gnolls in this this version of the game so yeah there was an extremely horny cut ending yeah where you're in as far as i can tell it's like orgy yeah it's like not like actually there's nothing in the game that really leads up to it but anymore but it was like scripted a long time ago I didn't do shit. <laughs> Stop shooting at us, it's rude. I'm threatening your squares now. One damage, damn. Oh, it has unstoppable. Maybe that makes them hard to hurt. This is a hard pipe to get out of. Yeah, so 
when I walked in here, there weren't any enemies. They all just appeared from invisibility and attacked me. So like this is like a straight up ambush. They just respond to you instantly. Oh no. Uh I keep accidentally. God damn it. Uh sorry, give me a second. I need to move some stuff onto my hub bar. <laughs> I keep accidentally dragging stuff off my hub bar, which is very annoying to deal with. I did it with Lizel as well. Because you, uh, I dragged her. You didn't, you didn't lock your bar. Deck. Yes, I do not have my bar locked because I'm constantly adding stuff to it uh, and changing stuff with it. All right, that should be correct. Uh, cool. I'm slowed, so I can only do one action. I was stunned, so I couldn't do anything. But somehow was able to react with Hellish Rebuke. I don't know how that happened. I don't know how a stunned character reacted. <laughs> Just let me leave this pipe. What? That's not where it said it was going. Hmm. Hmm. That's annoying. This game just lies to you. <laughs> Level up. This game will just say, oh yeah, your, your jump's gonna go here, and then it doesn't. And then why did I click? <laughs> uh, I'll try to get out of the way, I guess. Sure. Very well. You fucker. Hello. I'm hunting Dax. That's a lot of stacks of unstoppable. I guess I'm maybe eating through them. down there they go they're dead as fuck can I get up there I can see so we're gonna be level 11 so we're, we're only one level left in the game we're there um Tavern Brawler is so helpful. It just gives you so much utility. I mean, Tavern Brawler is so overtly overpowered that it's it's one of the only feats that help shapeshifting druids who can't be affected by almost any feat. <laughs> just It just gets absurd at some point. Oh, oops. I walked the wrong way with Lizelle. That's fine. I'll dash with her because I can't do anything else. What? She fell. It, it, she fell into the ice and now is sticking with her legs out like a comedic <laughs> cartoon person. God damn it! Now I did hit them. It looked like, it looked like I missed because I didn't see any numbers. Meowdy. All right. We are once again successful. Come on, Lizel. Move your ass. <laughs> Stand All up right. again. I believe in you. Level up time. Fighter level 11. Yay. Accept. Time to regain one of my... Uh, one of my druid I levels. Kanth is wearing a silly hat in his level up screen. Come on. <laughs> Feet. Uh, ability improvement. Strength up to 20. Kanth is going to be fucking crazy strong now. Oh, fuck. I have to pick a new feat. 
I don't remember what the what the what one I had in mind. Ooh, I can get. Uh, uh, we're gonna. I'm. Uh, blah, never mind. I can't speak. I can't speak. Words are hard. <laughs> Kibbles for Snicker, a note. Oh, these were shapeshifters too. They weren't all ballists. I mean, they they are all ballists, but they're uh, they weren't all humans. Let's try Sentinel. That could be cool. Assuming it works with shapeshift. <laughs> Will's still in his panties and his horrible mask. Okay, uh... Shadowheart is only level 10? How is Shadowheart a full level behind the rest of us? Did she finish leveling? I mean, I thought I had her in my party prior to this, but I guess not. Produce flame or thaumaturgy. Circle of Death, trip. Arcane Gate, I Bite, Flesh Stone, Creed Undead. Sure, Thaumaturgy, why not? This is so fucking useless. Um, okay, she. I just didn't level her up before. Okay. Alright, goody. Cleric level 11. Good. Shadow Hearts hair is still black in her character icon even though she has a different haircut in it <laughs> that's that's quirked up um she's so quirky is there anyone else i need to level up? i probably need to level up asterian i don't even want to begin to think about leveling up gale i realistically i need to what is the what is the the way that people play it you like put one point in wizard and then to play sorcerer, respec him to sorcerer for every other level or something. That sounds like a nightmare. It makes him extraordinarily powerful. I think you also give him warlock levels, which is insane. I don't, I don't remember the specifics of it. I, I don't ask me. I don't remember. <laughs> uh, all right, hold on. Does he take a favored enemy? Um... Hunger of Hadar was such a nightmare to fight against. Maybe it'd be fun to have. All right, Asterion can leave the party. I'm gonna go grab. I'm. I might bring Shark. I might bring Shark with me. Just having He's one a healer and two my favorite class to play in Baldur in not Baldur's Gate in D and D is like <laughs> real compelling. It it's it a, just it's sucks. An emotional salve. It is. Cleric is so fun. The funny thing is, for years, I really disliked clerics in tabletop, but um, something about some of the, the 5e that I've played recently, and then obviously oh, this game, Aside from the I just like fully get... Your dance card is full. I, I understand partner, divine spellcasting now in a way that I just never did before, the way, and god, is it good. It, divine spellcasting is so good in D and D, like in Pathfinder especially. Uh, all right, long rest. Oh no, don't leave camp. What will happen this night? Ooh, it's our guy, I think. They say that home is where a person can be their truest selves, without God, without pretense. You did well to see off the Githyanki who invaded mine. And now that you have seen where I come from, you know all there is to know about me. At least, all that matters. The flavors of my favorite fiddlehead soup, should you wish to experience it for yourself. The garments with which I concealed and later constructed my appearance as the Emperor. 
We spoke of my relationship with Duke Berlin Stillman. The story I have told no one else. I have no more secrets for you. No need to resort to subterfuge. We are true allies now, working towards a common goal. Is your guy wearing clothes? No, he's naked. Okay, I was wondering if this was based on what I did or not. <laughs> no. Anyway, he's rizzing us up. Yeah, anyway, I'm going to mute for this since it's a split dialogue. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Why did you resort to subterfuge at all? The only way we were ever going to get close enough to the brain to destroy it was by working together. But few would trust a mind flare. So I did what I had to to convince you. I studied you. Your motivations, your actions, your desires. I deduced the best way to align your goals with my own. It's very unfortunate that his tentacles are so turgid. So as he turns his head slightly upward with his little like, I'm talking head bobs. These like, these weird tentacles keep moving perfectly with his skull instead of like having slack and, and, and laying down. You could have been open with me from the start. Perhaps. But I couldn't take the risk. An elder brain leaves no room for error. I needed your absolute dedication to the cause. I anticipated the challenge, and I anticipated your resistance. What I didn't anticipate was how exhausting it would be. You were stubborn, antagonistic. You didn't want to listen. You even tried to kill me. No, I didn't. The other guy did. He, that was a different person than me. You can't say I tried to kill you. It's fucked up. I didn't make that choice. You weren't that easy to work with either. Antagonistic to the very end. But you made your choices. Such is the burden of freedom. And now we must move on. magic, it has complete control over each and every member. It was intelligent before, but now, with its hide mind established across the city, it is well on its way to becoming indestructible. We must stop it while we still can, before we too become its slaves. Yeah, why am I? I'm entangled. Cat. <laughs> Greetings, cat. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm just like, just like entangled stuff is spewing out of my bed when I sleep or something weird. Yeah, that's why there's always entanglement in the camp. Because yeah. you, when you sleep, it just comes out of you. Yeah, I got stuck in it this time. I don't know what's causing yeah. it. That's weird. You're a you're a druid with a penchant for tentacles. I don't know which thing would cause that. Speaking your of tentacles, weird, I'm a little, I'm a little annoyed. Your weird tentacle fetish, Keith. I'm, I'm a little annoyed that this game is now doing individual dot conversations with our guy. But mm -hmm. for the first half of the game, almost never did that, including the time mm -hmm. when you got to attack them. Like yeah. that was, that was a, a that was a scene you got to do for me, and I didn't get to interact with in any way. But yes. now he's like, "You tried to kill me." I'm like, "No, I didn't. <laughs> that never happened." You collectively, as a group, tried to kill that me. Didn't happen. 
It's weird that it's now, now we have individual scenes. It's like, well, where were the individual scenes before? Especially since apparently trying to kill him didn't affect the story anyway, because he still got to, like... It's because I was designated leader, and I guess at that point he wanted to speak to the leader it and not have... wasn't designated leader, you're just the person that ran in. Yeah, and then it, then the first check was, are you the designated leader of this group? And I said yes, you, I was yeah. designated you, as the leader. As, as I, saying, I like how this becomes passive voice when it's a thing you yes. did. <laughs> yes. I designated I myself the leader. <laughs> yes, exactly. I was designated leader somehow, mysteriously, by an unknown force. I, I never My said mouse. it was mysterious. I just said that that is what happened. All right. Let's go ball busting. Mizora's got to talk to you. Who's Mizora? Excuse me? <laughs> In a minute. Uh... The, the arch devil, oh, yeah. Mizora? This lady. <laughs> I'm not good at names. We'll get good at names. Most of my social interactions are me pretending to remember people's name. I've had my eye on you. Hot as brimstone, jagged as lightning, and seething like the river Styx. But there's something missing, isn't there? You're hungry for pleasures beyond this plane. Something more satisfying than mortal flesh, blood, and bone. Quite content, actually. Whatever you're offering, I'm not interested. No, oh, but do hear me out. You want what I have to offer. The ecstasy of agony. The pain of the damned distilled into pure bliss. Beyond every climax you've known. The little death writ large. What climax? Smile, and I'll come to you. Well, she said the little death. Yeah, I know, but your character is is infamously rizless. <laughs> Wolfthorn is is as far as this game goes, unfortunately cursed and unfuckable. You haven't been able to get into bed with anyone, not even what? your boyfriend, Will. <laughs> but I am with Will, which means. Very yeah, awkward and he's a never nude. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the it's worse. I have the game set to never nude, but <laughs> it's just literally the worst tree to bark up is the, is them going after the person who's coupled with the person that she's specifically tormenting. Yes, <laughs> like who the fuck? Is, what is she doing? It's just very funny because she's like, it will be better than any climax you've ever known, and it's like Mizora. You're you're talking to the person who hasn't yeah. who hasn't been laid the entire game. Are you seriously negging him right now? What are you doing? <laughs> I'm involved with someone else. Then we'll keep it our little secret. Hand to beating heart. She literally just wants to bang. What's the catch? What are you getting out of this? The same thrills I offer you. Some experiences are better when shared. I mean... <laughs> Absolutely not. Dear me, I've overestimated you. Trust me, I shan't be making that mistake again. Ta-ta. Yeah, she really just wanted to... Literally just asking the wrong wreck person. You. She wanted to ruin your marriage. Yeah, that's, it does feel like that's the goal, basically. <laughs> She's she's such like a catty Real Housewives of Baldur's Gate. Like it's <laughs> unbelievable. She's just a little shit all the time. It's very funny. She exclusively is here to stir shit up. I don't see any other people around. Like it is it. just very funny that she's like, hmm, you haven't gotten laid recently. You want to bang? It will be fun. There's no strings <laughs> attached. And it's like, miss, my boyfriend is right here. Have you <laughs> grown tired of being about? lame and sad? 